Surprise, motherfucker. Got you this time, didn't I? Talk. A prisoner. You gotta help has been him? Updated. Where are your friends? Okay, guys, so welcome back to Metal Gear Solid V, The Phantom Pain. Last time, we had a little bit of trouble. Um... Yeah, it's a couple days later since the last time I recorded, guys, and I th I've been thinking about this game and how to approach it, and I think I need to try a different tack. I think I might need to relent a little bit on the whole lethality thing, and just see if I can't thin the ranks a little bit before I go after these guys. Uh, obviously, I want to capture these last two generals alive if I can. But if that's going to be so, like, prohibitively difficult, then I might just, you know, snipe them in the face from afar and be done with it. There are a handful of things that I want to try. Um, for science purposes, I want to try and blow up this anti-air radar again. Because last time, if I remember correctly, it took one C4 and one grenade. So I want to see if I can do it completely with C4, like maybe stick, you know, two sticks on it, and see if that does the trick, because I don't know if, if C4 just doesn't work, or if it has to be a grenade, or what. Ideally, I'd like to stick one on each side. That dude's gonna fucking see me. Okay, I'm gonna try and wait till he turns. Fuck! Well, never mind. Just go ahead and place that. And I'm going to run this way. So what I was going to do was try and blow this up and see if that draws the guy out. And then see if I can't snipe all his buddies. And then just get him separately. Maybe this will work anyway. Alright, let's see if this blows this up. Okay, that did work. Two C4s for the anti-air. I am fucking sick of this guy in his light, so I am just gonna honestly take this guy out. Okay, that worked on the light at least. That's, that's, that's something. Uh, now, now I just have the question, is it even worth trying to capture this guy alive? Or should I honestly just, just pop him and be done with it? It's hard to say, guys. I will say, though, that this game doesn't seem to penalize you all that much for being, like, you know, super lethal, kill everybody guy, like I thought it would. Damn. There we go. Oh, shit! He is right here on top of me. Okay. Fucking hell, he's got a shotgun, he's mad! Go to sleep, fucker. Okay, that honestly kind of works. As usual with me, it wasn't the most elegant solution, but I'll be damned if it didn't work out in the end. <laughs> I'm really glad I got to capture that guy, because I, I want to build my base out so bad. And I also want to try something else. Where is it? So we have this thing called the Phantom Cigar. It's a cigar blended with a medicinal plant that speeds up the perception of time. Doesn't work if user is under stress, such as when spotted by an enemy. So we can't even use it right now. I was going to try and use this thing to speed up time and get out of the alert phase. See, they can't actually see me right now, so I don't see why I can't use it. Like, the whole purpose of that, from what I understand, is to use it to get out of the alert phase. But it just doesn't work. 
when you're in the alert phase. And these guys don't know my exact location now, so I thought that this would this would be like the ideal time to use it. But it's totally just locked out. Okay, well, you know what, whatever. My problem now is I gotta figure out where this last dude is. Okay, those are the prisoners. But I don't think I ever actually identified the third guy I'm supposed to extract. So he could be freaking anywhere. And these guys are getting somewhat close to me. I should probably move on. I mean, I guess the best course of action is honestly to just go back and scan the original area where they were supposed to meet. Or I could try interrogating somebody. I don't know, man. All I know is there's not much use sticking around there, so... <laughs> I'm curious when exactly I'll be allowed to use this, though. R3 is used... Oh, hold on a second. No, still won't let me use it. Very strange, very strange. Alright, well at this point... Let's, uh, circle back around... over here, and we'll see if I can identify the last guy. Okay, so what about now? Now they're, they said they're entering alert status again. Why are they... I don't know, there's still so much I don't understand about this game, guys. But I'll tell you what. I'm gonna get on my horse, and I'm gonna go back to the original mission area, and I will see you guys over there. Alright guys, so we're back here at the original mission area, and uh, the only thing I really have to go on is the fact that it's got this little area demarcated here. It says enemy predicted FOM, target FOM. Not even sure what FOM stands for. I'm gonna assume field of movement. That's probably wrong, but in my head, that's what it's gonna stand for. And I can't see a whole lot of guys over here. I think we might have thinned this place out pretty good in the last video. Um, that was actually a couple days ago for me, so my memory is a little foggy about that. But we're gonna uh, see if we can't sneak back in here and get a hold of this last dude. I've got two out of three capture alive. I think that's awesome, and I want to go for three. Um, like I said before, from what I understand, this game doesn't really like penalize you all that much for like murdering dudes for being, you know, uh, a, a lethal stealth guy. It seems like the main thing, as far as like your mission rating, is actually the amount of time it takes you. Which is kind of weird, so it seems like if you can get in and just blow the shit out of everybody, and as long as you get, like, get in and get out quick, you can actually get a pretty decent rating. Oh shit, and you know something? There's, there's something else I want to try when I leave this area. I want to steal a vehicle and drive out of here with it. And I want to see if uh, I can actually take the vehicle that way. Because I've heard that you don't always have to extract through a chopper when you're done at a mission area. Like, you can actually just drive off the map. And that counts as, you know... Um, that counts as extraction as well. Which actually seems like that might be a more fun way to do it. it. You know, just at least mix it up a little bit. And I don't know if we can actually acquire a vehicle that way. I mean, we can't Fulton them yet, because our Fulton's just not good enough. But if I can start building a collection of vehicles, obviously that would be cool. And now we're in one of those scenarios where I'm hardly seeing any enemies around at all, and it's making me super fucking paranoid. Shit, is that him? The map there, that's the target. Sun will rise yes! 
Can't believe I actually found them that quickly. Come here, bitch. They're coming outside. Actually, I should have interrogated them inside. That would have made a lot more sense, but whatever. Speak. Oh, I'm famous. This guy's heard of me. Where are your friends? Alright, I like a man of your conviction. You know what? I can use you. Shit, I hope the sandstorm doesn't fuck this up. Hurry up and get out of here. Awesome. Target extracted. We'll let the client know he's been dealt with. Exfiltrate out of the hot zone by chopper or on land. Alright, so at this point we could leave. But you know what? Oh wow, I just picked up ammo for my primary weapon. That's cool. There's uh, stuff that I want to do first. This actually ended up wrapping up a lot quicker than I thought it would. So, I'm just going to collect some materials around here. Pretty much anything I can find. And then... Actually, you know what? I'm not even going to bother with that, because I don't want to fuck this up. Or maybe I will. Is there fuel in here? Oh, we already got those. Okay, we don't even have to worry about it. So now, actually, what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can't get those prisoners that are over here. And I think that should be a good wrap-up to this video. So I'm gonna just commandeer this thing right here. View the controls. R2 to accelerate. We can use binoculars in here. Brake and reverse. Hold circle to move the vehicle? What? Uh, not sure I understand what that means. But we can shoot from in here. If the vehicle has weapons, we can fire them with L1 steering. Does it have any kind of power slide or anything? Doesn't look like it. Weird. Alright. Let's see if I can get out of here without alerting everybody to the fact that they're being fucking robbed. Wow, the controls on this thing are actually kind of crappy does not control very well at all. But guys, I think I'm also going to start being a little more liberal with how I cut and edit these videos. I'm probably going to try and cut out a lot of the uh, boring traversal crap, because there is a fair amount of that kind of stuff. Sometimes I'll play the tapes while I'm doing that, but other times I'm just going to cut it out completely, just so, like, there's not so much dead space in the videos, there's more action, and uh, it's more interesting for everybody. Because I've already put a lot of man hours into this series, but we're not really all that far in the story at all. Oh, tell me I fucked it up. Can I really not climb back in here? Okay, there we go. That would have pissed me off so much. So actually, let's do that now. Since we're in a vehicle, this should go relatively quick. Let's play one of these story tapes. And again, I have no idea which ones... The, are the yellow ones, like, important ones? The mist unit. Or are those ones I already played? Let's listen to Origins of Diamond. Diamond Docks. The word diamond originally comes from the Greek Adamas. It means indomitable, unyielding. Other words for the stones... All right, you're out of the hot zone. No enemy forces in pursuit. Mission complete. What? No! I didn't want to leave yet! What the fuck? Huh. Okay, I didn't know that was going to happen. I was trying to actually drive to the next outpost, but... Wow. Okay, so don't hop in a vehicle unless you're actually ready to go. My question is, do I get to keep that? I really want to know that. And see, I still got a B rank, which is the same as I've been getting all along, even though I did go a little, uh, a little murderous <laughs> on that, uh, <laughs> that one dude, that one outpost. So, I I'm okay with that, honestly. Ocelot got the details of the meeting out of that commander. It seems you've been doing your job just a little too well, boss. The Soviets have begun reinforcing the 40th Army's units in Afghanistan, sending in more men and new equipment. While things haven't exactly been easy for us up till now, 
They're about to get even tougher. Great. More staff from each of the teams are active in the area of operations now. That means some will be wounded, get sick, or suffer PTSD. That's where the medical team comes in. I've taken the liberty of commissioning the construction of a new medical platform. Having proper medical facilities for the men is a matter of life or death, so I put up the resources this time around. You can check on the platform's progress by selecting base facilities under the iDroid's mother base menu. Cool. Do it. Defecate. Command for D horse is now available. What? So I can make my horse poop? Oh god. That's disgusting. Elite soldiers. Oh, I got an A-plus dude. Radar specialist. I don't know what that means, but that's cool. A-plus in combat, is that, I guess? And just a regular A in combat. He's got the skill Savage. I, I gotta figure out where I can go in and actually look up what that shit is. Troublemaker Violence. <laughs> Oh, and this guy speaks Estonian, so if I ever go to Estonia, I guess he can translate for me. And look at all these other dudes I got. Man, I was holding on to those last uh, Fulton balloons I had because I wanted to try and get those prisoners out. I'm a little upset that the game just ripped me out of the mission like that. Oh. Side ops list updated. We're not on a mission. Use that free time wisely. Updated. Surveying enemy outposts, for example. Or gathering manpower and resources. Analysis of course, even you complete. need some downtime every now and then. Analysis Whatever you do, complete. it's all another step on the road to our goal. Okay, hold up. So are they still marked on here? Can I still go get them? No, I guess not, because I'm actually out of the mission. Well, that's damn disappointing. I guess those prisoners are just lost. I guess just fuck them. Oh shit. Uh, I don't really feel like fighting with you guys right now. I'm just gonna leave. How's that sound? <laughs> oh shit. Okay. So it seems the problem with vehicles is that you can really only well, yeah, I guess you can off-road, but just using the roads is obviously just going to take you from outpost to outpost and get you in combat every single fucking time. Alright, I think we're good here for now. Let's, let's get our bearings here and see what we're doing. These dudes are all super pissed off. Extract the little lost sheep. What sheep are you talking about? I already did a whole bunch of sheep earlier. Also, I probably should get a supply drop if I'm going to be dicking around in here. So can we go straight into the next mission from here? Occupation forces. Eliminate the colonel who's been reassigned from Sakra village to Smasi Fort. And prevent the tanks from redeploying to Smasi Fort. Recommended weapon missile. I don't have missiles. I don't even think I can make missiles right now. So I really don't know how I'm supposed to do that. What about side ops? Oh, we've got a whole bunch of them. Okay, we've got Prisoner Extraction, the Little Lost Sheep. We're right next to Little Lost Sheep, but we already pissed off these guys. Separated from the herd and wandered into the specific area. Marker well, placed. let's try it. We're right next to this place. I might have to go, you know, nuts on these guys and, uh, you know, take them all out. Whoa, that was a cool way to get out of a vehicle. And also, I should probably get a supply drop, because I'm a little low on a lot of stuff. Suppressor, Fulton. Please select a drop point. And I need them. So we'll drop them right Supplies there. Requested. And while we're waiting for that, we'll do some scouting. And we'll take some carrots. Analysis complete. Supply drop complete. Analysis complete. Alright, so there's our supplies. Let's see if we can't get eyes on more dudes. There's got to be more than just these guys in here.
And obviously, if we could get eyes on the sheep we're supposed to Fulton, that would be ideal too. But I don't see that guy anywhere. Alright, hold on. Let me grab this stuff before it fucking disappears or something. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Alright, reload that. There's some more guys. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Honestly, it seems like we don't even really need to engage anybody on this mission. Unless the Analysis sheep is like somewhere complete. in the village. It's kind of a weird side mission. Analysis complete. I don't know why we care about one specific sheep, but you know. I guess Kaz has his reasons. He's the one doling out the side missions, right? So he should know. All right, so let's uh, let's try this phantom cigar now. I really want to know how this thing works. If I use it now, will it go straight to nighttime? Enemy presence detected. The map has been updated. Oh wow! You can see all these fuckers moving around. Analysis complete. So this is a great way to get people, like... Complete. I don't see my vehicle. They're pissed I took the vehicle. Analysis complete. So if you use the Phantom Cigar and wait long enough, I guess you'll see them do, like relief and swapping people out so that's a good way to kind of get your eyes on as many people as possible I don't know how many times you'd have to do it to get to night which would kind of be ideal obviously but it's good to know for now at least oh check that out almost missed this guy Analysis complete okay that's got to be most everybody right nope there's another one I know I just saw a guy, come on. Damn. Oh wait, did he get in the vehicle? Oh well, it's never gonna be perfect. Okay, so... R&D platform complete. Oh, sweet! Hey guys, remember that uh, R&D project I started like two videos ago? It was like a week ago for me, real time. <laughs> It's finally done! Okay, so we've got Command Platform 1 out of 4, I guess. Medical Platform is being built. It's gonna be 12 minutes till it's done. So we can do Support. I don't know if we want to do any of these right now. I kind of want to wait and do another R&D platform. What am I missing for that? Oh, wow. That takes so much stuff. 4,000 fuel? I only have 1,000 right now. Ugh. So, okay, so this one, platform facilities for the base development unit, procures material. This is the one that actually gives me stuff. I want to, I should probably build this one out next, if possible. Because that's going to give me more stuff to work with. God, this shit is going to take fucking forever. I really can't believe it. Okay. Okay. I have no idea how to go about this without just fucking everything up. I kind of want to snipe everybody from out here. Just to clear the area out so I can walk around without having to worry about it. But first, let's do a circumference, see if we can't get eyes on the sheep. Maybe we won't have to be Mr. Commando kill everybody today. At least not in this mission. <laughs> Although I have a feeling I'm going to get spotted pretty quick. Being as bright as it is out here. Analysis complete. And actually, while I'm out here, I should probably be trying to fold in as many people as possible. I mean, the more people we have, the faster I can 
do the base stuff. I can't believe it takes 4,000 for the next one. That's just... That's just too much, guys. It's going to take so long. Oh, my God. Although, honestly, I don't know exactly how long it takes to... Uh, like, once you get your... Um, your base development platform going. I don't know how much stuff it makes for you. Like, once it starts compounding on itself and you get to level that thing up, maybe it'll actually roll in pretty quick. But I definitely feel like this game is designed to, like, take a while. Like, it's supposed to be a grind, I think. Because I don't want you just unlocking everything right away. And I haven't gone on and, like, looked at, you know all the stuff I've unlocked recently, so maybe missiles are available now. But they're already recommending missiles for my next mission, and I'm like, dude, I'm not like, I haven't, I don't think I've been anywhere close to being able to make something like that. I did find the honeybee, but I don't even think that's available for my loadout, honestly. Analysis complete. I think that dude's guarding the sheep. I think he's probably inside this little, uh, unit here. I don't know how specific the marker is, if it's telling me, like, yeah, it's definitely in here, or if that's, like, a general vicinity thing. But there doesn't seem to be a whole lot going on around back here, so let's just sneak around, see if we can get eyes in. This does kind of look like a little animal pen area. Oh, is that him? That's the target. Yes. Okay, so I want to trank the sheep so he doesn't run away when I get in there, right? And I also want to try and maybe grab a couple of these guys while I'm here if I can. That guy's on sheep duty. Oh shit. Okay, I'm gonna probably gonna have one shot to do this right. Let's not fuck it up. Come on. Got him. Nice. Now who's gonna see him and come over and be like, hey, what the fuck? Yeah, that dude's facing the other way, so he didn't see. That's good. They definitely notice when you balloon somebody away. Don't call it in. Just go to sleep. Awesome. You go to sleep, too. Oh, this is good. You have arrived at your destination. Got you. And I got you. All right. Everything went better than expected. Fighting has broken out among staff. What? You gotta extract him. Development project has been added. All right, I just unlocked a bunch more stuff. Those messages scroll by a little too quickly. I, I didn't get to read everything. I, I saw that a fight broke out amongst my staff. Not sure what that means or how to prevent that. But anyway, okay, so we got that, and I would love to see if we can knock out this one while we're here, too. Since we're right here, let's just pop over here and see if we can't do this. Oh my god, I can make my horse poop. A horse who can poop on command... That's a hell of a horse. I, I love D-Horse, man. He's basically bulletproof. I guess you can make him poop whenever you want. Hold on. I, I just gotta see this, guys. Go on. Oh. Oh, that's... That's definitely some horse poop right there. Wow. So I wonder what kind of gameplay functions that actually serves. But it wouldn't just be there. No, that's not true. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Metal Gear is absolutely the kind of game that would just put that in for fun and not actually have it serve any real purpose. But it's also the kind of game that would, like,
give it like an actual purpose too. Like something you would never think of. Some kind of interaction. I don't know. Okay, keep an eye out. Obviously I don't want to piss anybody off before I even get there. That's kind of my style. Okay. Headshot. Get him in the head. Oh, come on. Oh, man. Did I get him in time? Enemy presence detected. The map has been updated. Threat approaching area. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Before they get here, we're going to do this. I can't believe I actually pulled that off. Managed to get that second shot off and... Oh shit! Who the fuck is- Oh my god! No! Go to sleep! Go to sleep! God damn it, that guy took way too many shots. And everybody noticed what the hell's going on. Okay. Fuck! Exactly what I didn't want to happen. You know what? I'm not screwing around with these guys, though. I'm just not doing it. Roger that. Why won't you die? Oh, I captured the guard post. That's interesting. I probably should have taken the suppressor off that gun before I did all that. But that's okay. Doesn't really matter too much if that thing is uh, silenced or not, I found. Alright, I'm taking this fuel because I need it. And see right there, a couple episodes ago I probably wouldn't have tried to like murder those guys. I probably would have just ran and tried to hide. But I don't think that's really this game's style. I mean, my first instinct with any stealth game is to try and be 100% stealthy all the time. But I just don't think that really does you any favors in this game. I think it's it's honestly in your best interest to just pop dudes like that when you you know when you're in that situation. Unit function added. Medical team leveled up. Unit function added. Medical treatment. Awesome. Um, yeah, like what I was saying. Like I think unless you're specifically trying to like recover people and Fulton people out. I really don't think it matters in the slightest whether you are lethal or not. So that's probably something I'm going to adjust going forward. And it makes me doubly happy that I made that sniper rifle already. Because I will just snipe the shit out of people that I don't care about all day long. And I'll love it. Enemy detected. I do have to go on record though and say that these sandstorms are really annoying. Like it was really cool the first time it happened. Because I remember the first time it happened. It actually allowed me to escape a mission with ease, but every time since then, it hasn't done anything except piss me off. Like, screw up your visibility and make it so that you can't see what you're doing. And I also think that they last just a little too long. Alright, so this is a prisoner extraction. I got a fine homie. Analysis complete. Shouldn't be too terribly difficult, I don't think. Um, maybe I'll try and interrogate that guy. Shit! Yep, daytime. They've got eyes in the daytime. It's very realistic. And I still haven't quite gotten used to that. This dude's like fucking gung ho, ready, ready to, ready to roll. He's not sure what's going on, but he knows he doesn't like it. All right, that's fine. I'm just gonna wake him up and interrogate him right here. Get up, bitch. Uh, get up. Hold him up, and 
Spit it out. Thank you. Got anything else for me? Oh, I bet you I could call a D-horse over and make him poop on this guy. That'd be so wrong. Where are your friends? Oh shit, somebody's got eyes on me. Haha, <laughs> nice try, punk. Now, you're going home. Oh wow, so they actually shout when they're... If you do that from the uh, hold-up position, they'll actually yell for help. Interesting. Oh, come on! Oh shit, that was a whiff. That was that was a total whiff. Woo! Okay, there's there are way too many dudes here. They just keep rolling up on me. Is that the last of them? Nope. Here comes some more. Fuck. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Oh, well, that guy's... Look at that guy. He's pretty good in a lot of stuff. I might have to try and get him. Jesus Analysis Christ on a cracker. Complete. Analysis complete. I wish I could, like, designate, a, a, like, a specific mark on that guy. Like, I really... Just so I could, like, easily tell him apart from the rest. It's too bad. Okay, let's, uh... Let's extract these guys. I might actually draw some of these guys over and break them up a little bit. Which could actually work in my favor. Another guy here. Good lord. Alright, where was the guy with the mad skills? Was it is it that guy right there? Yes. I really want to try to get him if possible. Shit. Alright, this this guy. down. I'm just gonna try and take this guy out. I don't care. No, stop moving. Fuck. Oh, great. They're bringing in even more reinforcements. God, this is bullshit. I'm just gonna murder everyone. I'm, I'm sick of dealing with all these fucking guys. Why is it exploding? Shot bounced off. At least it took that helmet with it. Shot bounced off? What the fuck? What's going on? I wonder if that's just how it looks when you're shooting in slow mo. Are some fucking bullets bunches. Oh god, okay. Okay. Grenades. These guys have grenades and they're not afraid to use them. That's really good to know. Let's do a little tactical retreat here. Which one's the skilled guy? Not him. Alright. Sorry, sir. But you gotta go down. Oh, he's got a shield. Fuck that. Dude, are you kidding me right now? Oh, through the shield! <laughs> oh, man. I'm so happy that actually worked. I wasn't sure that was going to work. Okay, that guy's the good guy.
Let's see if I can circle around here and get these other guys from the back. Also, I'd really love to take out this uh, anti-air tower while I'm here. Seems like that would be a good thing to do. Doing that tells them exactly where you are, but that's okay. That guy's the skilled guy, right? Come on, show me him. Fuck. Yep, he's the good guy. Okay. Go to sleep. Very good. Now this guy, I did hit him with a trank, so it might take a second, but he should go to sleep. While that's going on, I'm going to play some C4. Ah, oh, damn it. No, put it on the thing. Dude, what are you doing? Okay. I'm trying to place it on here. Big Boss is being kind of a wad about it. Why? Why is this so hard? This wasn't so hard last time to get the cursor on here. I don't know if it's actually going to count if it's just like next to it like that. So I'm just going to place all four of them. Let the support unit help out if you need to restock. Transmit right. a request from your iDroid and I'll send supplies right away. I don't need any more right now. Don't worry about it. Just going to get this guy into the open. 100%. That'll work. And now what we're going to do is grab this prisoner. And anything else in here. Ooh, a tape. Mine. He's coming too. Roger that. I'll take your glamour model poster. <laughs> I'll take your metal. Take that. All right, I think we've got pretty much everything, guys. It's a shame that these guys had to die, but you know what? They should have just let me in and do what I wanted to do. I'm holding them personally accountable for their choices in life. All right, can I put this dude in here? Yeah. We're going to drive out of here and see if this counts for extraction and keeping a vehicle. Let me get a safe distance away. I hope I can detonate this from inside. All right, this should be good. Oh, shit. No, you can't do it because you have to hold down the left, the L2 button, and that's reverse when you're in a vehicle. There we go. You destroyed their anti-air radar? It wasn't one yeah. of the targets, but that's put a hole in their air surveillance. The chopper will be able to get in close now. You can Sweet. a landing zone near the outpost. Alright, I don't want to do that. I just want to drive off the map. Expansion we have reports of a cracked sniper at large in the Afghan wilderness. The Soviets call this sniper Tihi. Quiet. There are never any sightings, and only corpses are left behind. The Soviets have already lost a number of officers. You'd, uh, best watch your step. Oh, interesting. A sniper named Quiet, huh? I know a little bit about her just from seeing trailers and hearing things, and I actually can't wait to, uh, encounter her and see what that's all about. I think that's going to be, uh... Pretty good advancement in the story and the gameplay. If you guys don't know anything about that, um, I'll probably save it for next video. Oh, he just gets fucking ripped out of the truck when you drive out with him. That's hilarious. Alright, a lot of stuff leveled up. Oh my god. NVG, plus one cargo, ROM 1, decoy, sneaking suit, flare. 
Guys, I just got like a million different things I can build. I'm so happy right now. Alright. Let me just see if I can get this sheep. Come on. Go to sleep. There you go. <laughs> I got the stuff. I might as well grab everything I can. A couple more Fultons. And now I want to see if this actually counts for my extraction too. I wish there was a, an edge of the map closer to where I am. But there's not. Actually, I don't even see a place where you can drive off. Yeah, I think you kind of like to get back to Mother Base. I think you have to extract by chopper. I'm not positive about that. I might have to like look that up at some point. Honestly, I don't really feel like wasting the time driving to the edge of the map and trying to figure it out. So, I'm going to sign off for now, guys. Um, this video actually went pretty damn well, all things considered. I'm pretty happy with uh, a lot of the levels, the level ups that we got, the stuff we found, the missions we completed. Where are we at as far as side ops, just for posterity? We've still got two more to do, but I think next time we'll probably go back to the main missions. Which, the next one is Occupation Forces. And I wonder when we can find Quiet. I want to I want to find her like as soon as possible and, and get that whole thing started. So we still got a lot to do, guys. These videos are long. If you're keeping up with them, thank you so very much for the support. It means a lot to me. I'm Dude Long Couch, and I hope to see you in the next part. Later, guys.